For task seven, we need to include the price in this cell here of this item. Now you should be able to see from what we did earlier that the function that we're going to use is exactly the same as what we used to find our representative names. This time we're looking for this value and we're looking for it in this little table down here. So we need another VLOOKUP. So in cell F4, we're going to type equals VLOOKUP, open brackets. We're looking for this value, separated by a comma, from this little table down here. And you'll see that once we've selected those cells, we don't get the cell references. Instead, we get the name that we put in in task six. We're going to use a comma. And again, we want the second column. So we'll type two. And again, we want an exact match. So we'll type false. Close our brackets. And this time we don't need any absolute ranges because we've got a named range. And that will not change as we replicate this all the way down the column. 